If you wish to know, perhaps it is possible to show another what my people see. What I see. First you must close your eyes. The surface of the ship, its sights, will only be a distraction. Now in your mind, reach out. Listen for my breathing. Do not focus on the sound, but the life behind it. Imagine its energy, its texture, in tandem with the breathing. And then in your mind, step back from the image and see what remains. There. It is not as difficult as I thought. You learn quickly. It will take effort to maintain such sight, but you now have that power, and with it you can use it to see life around you in a different way, as I used to see it. wondered if... But your powers are strong indeed. There are places in the galaxy, strong in the Force, light, dark. They are born in places teeming with life, and in places that are filled with death. Worlds whose surfaces are graveyards, whose screams echo through the Force. It is possible for war, for men to give birth to such places, to leave wounds on the galaxy itself. What you heard was the echo of the past and it travels still. The answer will come to you in time. It must, when there is nothing more that you may learn from me. When the ruins of your past have been cleared away and I am no more, then you shall know what it is. And if you do not, then the galaxy shall die, and all my hopes for you will have been for nothing. <laughs> Hit the ground. This is Korriban. Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? An adequate job, pilot. Perhaps here there is some trace of those who pursue us. I sense that we may be truly alone on the surface. There are signs of life on the surface. Beasts by the dozen. So don't worry. You won't be quite as lonesome as she makes out. You might want to keep your, uh, lightsaber sharp. Or do whatever you do in these situations. Although, I think that the pilot's mechanical devices are probably accurate. If there are Sith here, their numbers are few and they are hidden. It seems quiet. Just the wind. But deep beneath the surface, you can feel the pain of what took place here. This place merely tolerates sentience walking upon it. It is pleased to have been left alone. There is great power here for those with the ambition to use it. There is great power in this place, for those who can hear its call. There is much that would draw a Jedi to this place. The resting grounds of the ancient and more recently departed Sith contain many teachings believed lost. The most likely place to find our lost Jedi is the ruins of the old academy. It was said that Revan intended to return to Korriban to subdue any potential Sith insurgents, but Revan disappeared. It took a year or two for the Republic to send a force here to deal with any Sith that may have remained. They found Korriban much as we have, barren and lifeless. It was assumed that the remnants of the Sith turned on each other, vying for what little power remained. The Republic found evidence that several Sith Lords escaped Korriban, fleeing to remote sections of the galaxy. As lifeless as it seems, the dark side is very strong here. 
The Sith Lords would not ignore such a powerful place. There is much that can be learned, even here. You should go to the ruins of the old academy. If there are any traces here of Sith, that is where they would be. If you walk Korriban's surface, you shall walk it without me. I cannot. This place is strong with the dark side. It is difficult to center myself here. Korriban holds few secrets from me, but much that you should learn. I will remain here and meditate. Our link remains. I shall contact you and provide guidance when needed. The Academy is on the other side of this valley. Be careful. Dark energy fills these ruins, and even the fallen Sith live still. The structures you see around you are the plundered tombs of the ancient Sith Lords. Each tomb was once infused with the history and heritage of the old Sith Empire, containing great mysteries and powerful relics of the Force. However, even the many traps could not long hold back the curious, the fools, and the weak. And so these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable to comprehend or preserve them. The broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith on Korriban. I doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. This way leads to the tomb of Ajanta Paul, a fierce Sith Lord. According to legend, the blade proved more fearsome than the master, leading to his demise. Ajanta's dark specter lived on through the centuries until Revan entered the Sith Lord's tomb in search of the blade. Revan calmed the angry ghost of Ajanta Paul and showed him the path back to the light. One who has fallen so far and done so much evil does not deserve redemption. In a way, such a turning from one's nature is cowardly, a betrayal of the self. Yes, redemption is merely a form of spiritual collapse, a fall few recover from. I would advise you to finish your explorations within the Academy before venturing into the cave. Let's take care of this. Down. Hairs on the back of my neck are standing. Are you sure we need to go in there? You can expect more than these beasts within the Academy. Be prepared. She is here. Find her. Oh, my God. 
I think the body was left here as a message to us. Did you come here for answers? There are none. The call of Korriban is strong, but it is the call of the dead. I have studied you. Immersed myself in you. I know the paths you walked in exile. I know your teacher. I know the fires that raged upon the ducks and moon while the Republic died around you. You know war. You know battle. And I know of Malachor. You know what it means to be broken. The one who travels with you will destroy you, as she did me. I can end it before it begins. I know her as an apprentice knows their master, and as a master knows an apprentice. She clings to hope that perhaps she can train one as great as her first. She is a fool who escaped death once. She will not do so again. But you do not know her as I do. You have not survived her teachings as I have. And you have not bested her in battle as I have. You are nothing. Yet still she walks with you. Is willing to sacrifice herself for you. You are a wretched thing. A thing of weakness and fear. You are her apprentice in name only. I am the master. And that is why you will die. Let's move out. Let's take care of it. It's another one for me. It's a new one. This is not a battle that can be won. Flee. There will be another time, but it is not now, not here, while Korriban runs through him. Do not harm her. I command it. She has earned this. She and I will meet again. <laughs> 